Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're doing a Shop My Stash. I haven't done one of these in a little while, so I wanted to do one today. I was in the mood to do a purple eye look, so that's what we did today. So I'm taking you with me to pick out the makeup and then we're gonna do this makeup look together. I hope you enjoy it. If you are new, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a shop my stash today. So we're gonna go through and pick out some makeup to use. So first is concealer and corrector, obviously. Let's Let's do Charlotte Tilbury corrector today. I've been kind of neglecting this one. This is the shade number two. So I think we'll do that one. And then for concealer, let's see. Maybe we'll go for shape tape today. I have not used this in the longest time. This is the creamy one. This is not really a go-to for me anymore, but I always keep it around because it's shape tape. So I think maybe we'll try that one today. For foundation, let's see. Should we use Dior? I haven't used my Dior backstage in a while. Yeah, let's go with that. Then we have primer and highlighter. Um, you guys know I'm not a huge, typically I'm not a huge primer person, but I kind of want to use one today. Maybe we'll use this. This is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. It's just the mini one. I was using this pretty consistently for a while and I just kind of gotten away from it. So I think I might try that one again. And let's see. Maybe we'll do a little bit of this Buxom White Russian Highlighter. I don't know if I'll even use this, but I'm gonna take it out anyway. And that is it for in here. Okay, and then for powder, let's see. Ooh, maybe we'll use Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I haven't used this in a long time either, so I think we'll do that one. For the brows, let's see. Maybe I'll go back to Patrick Ta Brow Wax. I've kind of been laying off this one a little bit lately, but I still, I still love it. So I think we'll do that and probably just fill in with a little bit of the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. Okay, I kind of have a vision for a purpley makeup look today so I kind of want to do a purple eyeliner so I think I'm gonna do Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk liner it's kind of a wine color and then I'm gonna pull out the roller lash I think for mascara and that is everything in there. okay I may have to come back to lips once I actually see the eye look. Sometimes it's kind of hard to pick out a lip product before you see the makeup, but let's see. Maybe this lip liner. This is Morphe in Makeup Talk. It's darker, kind of a almost like a 
purpley brown kind of. I don't know. I'll just pick that out for now. And Amy Urban Decay. 1993. We'll just see. And let's see. Pick this too. The NARS Afterglow Lip Shine in Turkish Delight. And then I may end up picking something else. I don't know. Okay, like I said, I want to do something purpley. So I could either do, I have a few different palettes in my head. I could do the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. So I could do that or, or the Sigma Enchanted palette, which I love so much. Probably just gonna take out a few and then I'll decide what I want to do. There's also a smaller palette that I want to get out to. Okay, so I have a smaller Huda Beauty palette that I kind of wanted to get out, but now I don't know where it is. Mm. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this one out too. This is the nude light palette but it has a lot of really pretty pinks and purples in here so I think I'll bring that one out too and then for blush oh you know what I want to use I think is the persona bubble blush I just got this Recently, I used it on Instagram, but I haven't used it on YouTube yet, but this is so pretty. I know it looks intense, but I, it is so stunning, especially with purple eyes. I feel like this would be really good. So I think I will do that. And probably not a cream blush today, maybe just powder. And then for bronzer... I use this maybe. Kind of want to do a glowier bronzer. This is the Laura Mercier. Um, what is this called? Matte Radiance Baked Powder, but it's in the shade Bronze. This is actually a really pretty bronzer. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. And let's see. Anything else? I haven't, I haven't been into lipstick really as much recently. I might bring out like a really light pink. This is the Lawless in the shade Platinum. I wouldn't, probably wouldn't use this all over my lips, but maybe like right in the center or something. I may bring this out too. Okay. And I think that is it. All right, you guys, let's get into it. I have already done all my skincare and my sunscreen. I did my go-to combo right now, which is Dermatology and L'Oreal Lumi Glotion in Medium. I don't know what I've been doing, but I should have been using this combo a long, long time ago. It is so good, especially when I have on salt tan. I just really love this medium shade and the Glotion. I don't use a lot. I use just a little bit mixed in with the sunscreen and I really like it. Let's use my primer. I'm kind of nervous to use. Primers always make me kind of nervous because I'm not used to using them and I always feel like they're going to mess up the rest of my makeup, but fingers crossed this one is okay. So this is the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. The mini one, honestly, my face is very glowy, so I really don't need this, but we're gonna use it anyway. I remember when I got this, I got the mini size, obviously, but I really liked it, and then I feel like I used it with something, and now I can't remember what it was, and 
it kind of peeled up on my face. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. While I'm kind of letting that set down a little bit, let's do my brow wax. I'm Patrick Ta. I haven't used this in a little while because I've been using my Refi and then I've been trying out the e.l.f. brow products and let's see what else do I have. I feel like I've gotten a bunch of new brow things but if you've been here for a minute you will know this was like the first brow product I fell madly in love with. And this is the tinted one. So let's put this in. I'm using something new in my brows, by the way, um, that I'm not going to talk about yet because I want to use it a little bit longer. But I'm using something new that I feel like I really like so far. But like I said, I want to use it a little bit longer. But I will keep you updated. Okay, I just had to go grab some brushes because I forgot most of my complexion brushes I washed yesterday, like my most used ones. So I don't have many that are not wet to use. So I had to go grab a few that I didn't wash yesterday. But anyway, let's move on to corrector. So I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury today in shade number two because... I've really been neglecting this one since I've gotten or become totally obsessed with the Bobbi Brown. <laughs> so I'm going to use this today and this is shade number two. And I'm just going to use this Real Techniques brush to apply it. This is actually a really good brush for under the eyes. This is the medium shadow brush, but it's a really good size for under the eyes. Do you guys see how glowy my face is? <laughs> um, definitely could have probably gone without that Rare Beauty primer, but I really wanted to try it. I don't see any pilling this time, so hopefully we're good. I'm gonna use Dior Backstage. I love this one. I have not used mine in quite a while so I figured we would use it today so this is the shade 1.5 neutral uh, this is a beautiful foundation I have not gotten a concealer yet the new one I really want to try it but you guys I went as I normally do a little crazy during the Sephora sale and gosh I even have some last day of the sale stuff that I haven't even shown you yet anyway I'll probably do another video and show you I'm kind of embarrassed that I did this but you know <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take my Smashbox. This is the full coverage foundation brush, so it's a little more dense than the blurring one that I normally use. And I'm going to spray with Charlotte Tilbury first and start tapping this in. So I mentioned in the clips when I was picking out the makeup that I had kind of an idea of what I wanted to do today and I wanted to do a purple look that's why I have on my purple tank top and the reason for that is I was talking to my mom the other day and she said that she wanted to see me wearing this purple tank again I wore it um, in I think it was my Sephora try on video I did but she wanted to see this tank with a purpley eye look because she always tells me she likes it when I wear purple lavender in particular so this is for her because she requested it and I love lavender too it's like if I'm gonna wear a color 
either lavender or like green, like an army green. Those are like my go-to. Two colors if I'm gonna wear something other than like black or nude or, you know, your basic neutrals. All right, let's move on to concealer. I guess we're gonna use Shape Tape today. I haven't, I honestly don't remember the last time I used this. This is the creamy one in the shade Light 22N, which is light neutral. I remember when Shape Tape first came out and I loved it. I just thought it was the greatest thing ever. And I mean, I don't dislike it, but it's just kind of not really what I go for as much anymore. So I'm gonna try to use it very sparingly. All right, and I have an old Sephora 56 brush. This is in their older like packaging. You realize the other day I used this brush in an Instagram video that I did and I actually kind of liked it under my eyes. I don't like it as much as my Sigma F03, but it's actually a pretty good size for under the eyes. All right, looks pretty good right now, but as you can see, I used very, very little product because um, I just, especially since I use my corrector underneath, I try not to overdo it with my concealer especially as I'm getting a little bit older. Um, I also have this little friend on the side of my nose that just keeps popping up. It's so weird. It comes and one day it's on like the other side and then I wake up the next morning. I swear it like switched over to the other side. I don't know. I just seem to get like tiny little friends on the side of my nose. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil Powder. <laughs> I've been pretty much exclusively using the Kosas powder for the last few months, really. But I do wanna set this very lightly since we're using a powder bronzer and a powder blush. I'm literally just tapping this powder on my face. This is the uh, BK Beauty 102. It's just a really large powder brush and I'm just gonna kind of lightly dust this all over. For bronzer, I wanted to use the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Bronzer in the shade Bronze number two. So no one ever talks about this. But this is such a pretty glowy bronzer. Um, so I'm gonna use this Sephora Pro Powder Brush. And I'm going to apply this to my cheeks and my hairline. Kind of reminds me of like the Hourglass powders. It's definitely more of a luminous bronzer. Also, I have my hair up in my favorite low bun today because my hair is really dirty, but I'm actually getting it done tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I love to get my hair done. I don't know. It just feels so good to have like freshly done hair and I love to have someone else like wash my hair and blow dry it. That's like such a luxury to me. I love that. So I'm really excited. And then, okay, for the blush, we're going to use Bubble from Persona. And let's see, I don't really have all of my blush brushes. They're kind of dirty. So I guess I'll use this. This is BK Beauty, the 104. It's a little bit of a smaller, more tapered powder brush. So I'm just going to use this. It's actually pretty good for this color. I mean, look at that blush. It is so, oh, I love it. So pretty and natural. 
It looks scary, but it's not. It's like the most natural looking pink color, especially on like light or fair skin tones. Also, another tip for you if you are if you have a blush like this and you're kind of scared of it, get some on your brush and then just take it and like dab it off a little bit on your hand and that will get rid of that excess that's just like sitting right there on the tip of the brush. Just FYI, if you have a blush that kind of scares you, that's a really good way to tone it down a little bit. Okay, and then since I brought out this Buxom White Russian Highlighter. I'm just gonna take that same brush we just used for the bubble. And I'm just gonna go like right over the top. I really don't need any more glow, but kinda wanna use it cause I feel like this pinky color really goes with this vibe. Now let's fill in my brows just a little bit with the brow pen from NYX. And then we'll move on to the eyes. All right, so I filled in my brows, obviously, and then I just applied a little bit of my eye primer, which is the NARS one. And now we're gonna move on to the exciting part, which is the eyes trying to decide what palette I want. So we have this one, the Huda Nude Light. I'm kind of leaning towards this one because I was looking at the Huda Retrograde and they do have two purples. They have this like matte purple and then this like brighter purple and then this pink color that can kind of be purple but I feel like this is more of a purpley palette but then I also have the enchanted palette I kind of want to use this one too I love this like light lavender shimmer here let's use the Huda Beauty one just because I don't even I know I've used this on my channel at some point but it's been a really long time and I've done a whole video using this Enchanted palette. So let's do this one from Huda Beauty. So I'm going to go into the cream shade first, which is here. Um, I'm just going to use my BK Beauty 201, which is just a large fluffy brush. And... I'm going to put that all over the eye, so on the lid, and bring it all the way up to the brow bone. Alright, and then let's see. I'm going to first go into this kind of peachy matte, and I'm going to put this, I'm going to use that same BK Beauty brush, and I'm going to put this in the crease really, really lightly as our transition shade. I've had this palette for quite a while, so these shadows are definitely on the older side. All right, I'm going in with more of that shade because it's very, very light. Now I'm gonna go into the matte purple, which is here. And I'm gonna use this Real Techniques Defined Crease Brush. And I'm gonna put this in the outer corner so we get that purple kind of going. And I'm trying to keep my eye open while I do this so I can really see what it's gonna look like. So I'm definitely having to build up this color a little bit. I think, like I said earlier, these shadows are definitely a little bit older. I do feel like when I bought this, the colors were a little more pigmented. Now, I really wanna use these beautiful shimmers in this palette, but I don't want any fallout, so I'm gonna use the glitter, well, 
I am going to use this, but not yet. I think I am going to try to go in with a little bit of this purpley shimmer right here. I'm trying to find like a little bit of a more dense brush. So we'll use this. Okay. So I'm going to try to just tap a little bit of this kind of over where we put that matte color. So now we'll use the glitter glue. So this is the NYX glitter primer. I'm just going to take this little paddle brush and I'm just going to tap on the center of my lid and then kind of bring it over into the inner corner. I'm going to do one eye at a time, um, just in case. So now I want to use this color. This color is so stunning, this purple shimmer. And I mean, look at that. So pretty. I'm just going to tap that all in the center. And kind of bring it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that glitter primer right in this inner corner kind of tap it and then we're gonna go in to the light pink kind of has a golden reflect to it and i'm just gonna tap that in the inner corner Ooh. now i'm gonna go back into that peachy color that we put in the crease and i'm gonna go back in and just add a little bit more of that. Cause I feel like the glitter, the glitter kind of took over. And then honestly, I think that's it. I'm not gonna add, they have this really pretty like deeper brown out here, but honestly, I don't think I need that. I wanna keep this predominantly purpley for, let's see the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the purple, the matte purple, and I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. Um, but now I think I am gonna take a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner, and I think I might just put this in my waterline. I'm not sure that I've ever done that before with this. And let's see, do I want to put any on the top lash line? It's always the question. Maybe we'll put just a little bit up here. Just like a teeny tiny bit on the outer corner. So I just kind of applied a little bit of that and then I'm just kind of smudging it out. And then for mascara, I really want to use Roller Lash from Benefit. I was thinking about this the other day. This used to be like my everything mascara and I still love it, but I wish so much that it came in brown. That would be so amazing. I've just been so into brown mascaras lately that I find I'm just really gravitating towards them, but I feel like a lot of mascaras just don't come in brown, which is sad. Now, for the lips. The lip is always the hard part. So I pulled out two liners. So we have Makeup Talk. I kind of want to use this one from Morphe. It's a little bit of a purpley undertone to it. I don't know if you can even tell. And then we have 1993, which that one's definitely more warm, which is there. Let's do Makeup Talk from Morphe. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of Lawless Platinum this is a really, really light nude. Like really light, you see that? 
So I just kind of tapped it on. And then let's top it with Turkish Delight from NARS. Okay, my camera keeps dying, but this is the lip. I feel like it's not quite it, not quite what I wanted. I like it, but I feel like I want something a little bit warmer, a little bit like, I don't know, a pink, but a little bit of a warmer undertone. So I'm gonna take this off. I like this, I just don't, I don't know, I'm not like, 100% sold on it. Maybe it's because the eyes are more purple, so I feel like that's kind of a cooler tone. I need something warmer to kind of balance it out. I don't know. I got most of that off. I'm probably going to keep the liner the same. I'll just kind of touch it up a little. But I think the lipstick I want to do is Charlotte Tilbury dance floor princess so this is a pink but it's just a little bit of a warmer color i like this more okay and then we'll top it off with turkish delight right in the center okay yeah i like that better i liked it before too but i don't know i'm just feeling this a little bit more all right, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love Shop My Stash videos. I think you guys enjoy them too. I get a lot of comments from you that tell me that you like them every time I do these. And I really like how this turned out, actually. Mom, I hope you like this one. This is for you since you requested the purple, and I love it. I think anyone, I think, can pull off purple, but especially if you have green eyes the purple just really makes the green pop so i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it i will list and link everything below as always and thank you for being here make sure to go follow me over on instagram at simply.blair i've been doing lots of stuff over on instagram so make sure you're following me over there and on TikTok at simply.blair1. I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.